Welcome back to System Shock. Let's continue to explore the Gamma Quadrant, here just beneath the Healing Suite. So we haven't been forwards there, or very far this way. Oh, they saw me. No, please open. I'm not sure how important ammo conservation is, but I'm going to assume pretty important. Oh, I took out the other one. What is this? Transderm Dispenser. Oh, selection of dermal patches. So those healing things, basically, you can buy them. It's, um, how many credits is it for each? Oh, depends on the thing. Five to four credits. Okay, well, we have plenty of the consumables. Looks like we have four berserks, four meta patches, and three stamina ups. More than enough. Ooh, soda. I should probably drink that, actually. I'm a little bit hurt. Just chugging three cans casually. A hacker's diet. It tells you on the top middle of the screen. When you mouse over something, it tells you if they're empty. I'm not really sure if waiting for that to appear is faster than just opening the inventory, though. <laughs> I don't think it is. I feel like there's bonus damage when you take them unaware or when you hit them from the back, maybe? Ooh. Suitcases usually have good things, yes. Is there a list of my access cards somewhere? I believe there was. Yeah, it's here in the map screen. I have standard card, group one card, and personnel one card. Actually, what I just picked up, I think it might have been a card that I already had. So I guess there's multiple places where you can get them. Gas grenade? That's new. So we have three grenade types, EMP, frag, and gas. Damage type, diuranium gas. Diuranium? Is it, does it do radiation damage? Armor and penetration is quite poor. Releasing a highly toxic diuranium oxide gas when deployed, the airborne compound rapidly degenerates biological systems. It has a minimal effect on synthetic parts, dissolving the plastic and rubber components of machinery. Hold on. That's a try credit. Oh, you can see us slowly rotating. I 
think I actually needed to drink that. I think we have a lot of pistol ammo. Yeah, 41 standard rounds. So I don't think there's much harm in, in using that to take out these simple enemies. Oh, shit. What is that? What the hell is that? Looks like some half mech cyborg thing. I'm not sure how much of that is cyborg and like how much is mechanical and how much is human. I'm thinking of using a grenade against it, but I don't know which one to use. EMP? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's not as dangerous as I think it is. It didn't react at all. Well, three shots to the head did it. Look at this thing. Dead cyborg mantis. Cyborg mantis. Oh, shit! I was trapped. I couldn't move. I want to know if headshots do more damage. I don't know. Wait, what requires zero level security? I'm trying to use the soft paneling in front of me and it's saying it requires 0% level security. Doesn't happen here, only happens here. This must be a secret door or something. Uh, okay, let me mark that so I don't forget about it. Yeah, according to a quick Google, you should be able to just click add marker and then click somewhere on the map and it adds a marker. And you can see add marker becomes unhighlighted when I click, but it just doesn't actually work. So I'll try to remember. I probably will forget. Ooh, another spark beam. Look at that little laptop. Oh my god. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about the hinge being flimsy and breaking on you like modern laptops. Beta. Level security is sixty percent. Wait, I just solved that. I'm actually not sure how I solved that. What the heck did I just do? Maybe I'll understand it on the next one. So these are solvable without a logic probe. Interesting. Power has been rerouted. Re Wait, what did that actually accomplish though? Because this thing is still here. It's just listed as an access panel. Isn't this to get lifts working or something? Maybe... 
Like, maybe you can't open them without the logic probe. The logic port. Or something. I, I don't know. I don't think solving them really does anything yet. Or maybe this bridge wasn't open before? I'm not actually sure. Wait, is that safe to walk across? Oh, that's really cool. That's Cyborg Assassin. Glad they're dead. I remember the Assassin characters from System Shock 2 were really powerful. I think they were kind of a late game, or at least a mid-game enemy. No idea what they were in the, in this one. Oh, hi. My floaty friend. That's really cool how they just bob there. Oh, radiation poisoning. What if I can get a rad suit or something like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 25 rads. That's a lot. I mean, it's not actually rads, it's LBP, whatever that is. More ammo. We really do have a lot of ammo. What did that do? Already activated. Oh, hi. I can't turn it off, whatever it is. Infectious waste bag. That's disgusting. Oh, hold on. This links up with somewhere I've already been. So I think I just opened a shortcut. Can you operate the lift? Okay, I think headshots definitely do more damage. Oh, shit. Hi. Because it took like four or five to take out that, um, that one over there. Whereas in the head, I think it only takes two. Yeah, new enemies here, even though we've already been here. I feel like I heard another one as well. Oh well. Let's continue to explore this area. Why did I come here? They had to pay good money. But she has left me. I always knew it was a mistake. Now it's too late. Even if I found a way to escape, if Shonan gets away with this, it was already hard for me before this whole mess happened. Pistol. Hold on, what is that? Krakow's box. All right, these are bathrooms. A whole bunch of snacks. Actually, you could use some health. Let's do some munching. Is 
Sight Vision Enhancement. Wait, is that the one we've already gotten before? Wait, is it? We have the Head Mounted Vision Unit. Hold on. Here it is. Intensifies retinal sensitivity to light, making it easier to see in the dark. Oh, it's a consumable that allows you to see in the dark. Side effect. When the patch wears off, user experiences temporary photophobia. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't think I need that on the hotbar. It's going to vaporize that mini pistol. It's quite large. Also, I do not need two spark beams. And they don't actually hold rounds, so I can't unload them or anything like that. They just use my battery. So I might as well just... Oh, right, you can't vaporize them in your inventory. Okay, well, I guess I'll keep it and I can recycle it when I find a recycler. Okay, so that thing was a mine, I guess. Fucking hell, that scared me so much. I was just like off my own world looking at the map, listening to the message. I did not expect someone to just pop out. Okay, so ninjas are already here. Don't need to wait till mid or late game for that. Oh man, that almost killed me. Jesus. Small magnesium tip box. Is that magnesium rounds? Kinetic plus incendiary damage. Oh, it's used by the Mark III assault rifle, so I don't have the gun that that's for yet. Cartridge is highly caustic and will continue to burn after impact, causing maximum damage to soft targets. Due to the chemical makeup of this round, it can be used in the void of space to burn through spacesuits and ignite the oxygen swirling inside. wrote that password down on a post-it note. Medical Armory 705. Whoa, you're fast.
am I doing on ammo? Oh, I've actually gone through a lot of it. I only have eight normal rounds left and then some Teflon coated rounds. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be meleeing easy enemies. Also got to remember that I have medkits, which restore health to maximum and are instant. Nice. Designed for single use emergency treatment. Let's have some more snacks. Dragon's Breath Rounds. It's for a shotgun. Ah, uh, it's it's one of those assassins. Targeting. Were they damaged by the explosion, or do they really just have very little health? I think they went down and was that one shot? Okay, so oh hi. Can we shoot through this? No. Yeah, this is the thing I saw from the other side. Uh, hmm. Do I want to turn that force field off? Oh. It's hoping they would stay turned around. I can finally recharge my power. Now low, medium. It's odd, but very nice, that they tend to have revolver, or, uh, mini pistol ammo on them. It's weird, because they don't actually use mini pistols. Oh man, there's a lot of enemies that have come back, huh? This thing's kind of going to overheat. All right, we're good now. God, that's a lot of enemies. Is there more? There's a whole bunch more over there. Where'd you come from? Are you just hiding out in that crate? Creepy fucker. Energy's out. Oh, the box is crushed, so I can't eat it. Dang it. That just turns on the lights.
Is the recharger back? Yes, it is. All right, where do we want to explore from here? Perhaps I should continue over here. In Alpha Quadrant. Some lunch money. Oh, it's overheating. I didn't kill them all, did I? No. Oh, fuck! You asshole. I am not welcomed here. Remove yourself. Fuck you. I'm kind of worried it's going to incinerate me if I stand inside of it. How are you supposed to get in here? The button makes it flip-flop between sides. So don't you need someone on the inside? I mean, I guess I have someone on the inside, but I don't think they're going to press the button. The way they stare at me is just creepy. Pulsar lift is manually locked. Probably can turn it on in there, I would bet. Yeah, what are you supposed to do about this? Do I flip it from inside like this? Oh, yeah. Wolf security 56%. I get why this works in game logic, but I don't understand how this works in world. Because at the moment the force field activates, my arm is presumably touching the switch. So my arm is in the force field. Wouldn't that just chop off my arm or something? Okay, I have no idea what that's going to do. What is that? Battery pack. Stores a fraction of your total energy. Oh, nice. No idea what that did. Oh, I think it made the force field over there activate. Reactivate the bridge. Yep. Oh. Right. If you press R, that makes sense. If you press R when you have an energy weapon like this, it'll use a energy pack. That makes a lot of sense. Loaded their head. He 
here. And oh shit. Oh, thank God they're relatively easy to kill, but they're terrifying. <sighs> yeah, one of the audio messages said that here indicates... Uh, I don't remember what it indicates. Something. The wall is kind of flat where it is. Maybe that's just so the texture will appear properly. I was thinking maybe there's like a secret compartment, but no, that's that's not it. Vaporizing those damaged weapons to give you a decent amount of scrap. Syringe. Wait, it doesn't say it's junk. Mid volume syringe is made of borosilicate glass to keep the sensitive liquid contents fresh. I don't understand why it doesn't say it's junk. I mean, what else are you going to do with it? Oh no, uh, it's a reflex to press R every once in a while with any weapon. Hmm. Looks like there's not much room for a room here, so I might as well just explore that. Another grenade. Teflon rounds. I should be using my grenades, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't seem worth it to use on single enemies. And I haven't had a lot of crowds that seem close enough for them to really be useful. But I don't know, uh, they're starting to build up, so I really should use them. It almost looks like there's a doorway right here. But there isn't. No, that's just this little cubby, I guess. There's a door here, that probably connects like this. Oh yeah, that'll be it. This elevator serves me alone. I have complete control of this entire level. With, with, with cameras as my eyes and nodes as, as, as my hands. I rule here. I can do something about that. You don't think I can use your elevator? Oh, there's even elevator music. Beautiful. I don't think I want to go anywhere yet. Let's explore up here. Does it hurt if I touch this? No. Okay. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Oh, that's what the here was indicating. Right. The, um, restoration bay. If you have cancelled the cyborg conversion procedure, your body will be reassembled in this restoration bay if you die. 
cancel the cyborg conversion procedure? How do I? I'm not sure what that means. Cargo lift. Store items in the cargo lift to free up space in your inventory. It's available on most floors on the station. Oh, that is perfect. That's basically my stash. I know exactly what I want to put in there. There we go. Given how many ID tags I've found, though, I'm actually not going to be able to store very many in here. There's really not that much room. I think I'm going to have to <clears throat> eventually leave the ID tags just on the ground or vaporize them. But for now, they're fine there. Kinda did, but I don't think we really had a, much of a choice. Directive to Cyborg F71. Move mutagen experiment V5 to, to, to Beta Grove on the executive level. Let the virus loose in the grove and uh, observe its effects on, on flora and fauna. Collect samples from the mutated. Kill those who have not shown progress. And and we will soon have a perfected strain that will consume the earth. Allowing me to reshape the in insect the insects in my perfect image. We'll be seeing some interesting creatures on the executive level. Speaking of interesting creatures. You're quite interesting. Wait, it says it's a repair bot. Are you not actually dangerous? Uh, no, no, that's dangerous. I don't think it's fixing a lot of things these days. I mean, a little scorpion bot with a flamethrower? That's pretty awesome, though. That's, uh, quite a death pose. Died from trying to suck his own dick. I got an achievement there, by the way, for finding the secret wrench. I think the wrench was the main weapon in System Shock 2, wasn't it? Let's see how it compares <clears throat> to the lead pipe. Damage is a, a little bit greater. Attack range is a little bit shorter. 
Yeah, that's about it as far as stats go. More damage, very slightly less range. This massive adjustable crescent wrench is used primarily to tighten or loosen connectors in Citadel Station. Its weight and size all make, also make it a formidable makeshift weapon in the event of an employee uprising. <laughs> yeah, let's try using that instead of the lead pipe. I love these little glimpses at the outside. see a recycler up there. What's that gonna do? Turn on the lights? Oh, yes! for the lift. Recycler units can be used to convert junk items into try credits. And I think that's the only use for scrap as well. Yeah, 10 scrap turns into one credit. 
a couple hundred scrap, some chip bags, and some tri-pop cans. I tried to recycle the lead pipe, but it doesn't let you. Which makes sense, because there's probably only the one of it that you start with, and that's the only that exists in the world. Oh, yes. You get to pick them up individually if you want to. I love that. Got 26 try credits. Man, that could buy me so many green drinks. Wow. I haven't been up there. Couple healing things. Man, ladders are nauseating. I don't think there's any point in taking those out. I'm just thinking, aren't there nodes per level? Like, if we look at the status of medical, it tells you level security, 40%, active nodes, 4 remaining. Number of active computer nodes on this level. I just, I feel like I've probably discovered a lot of the medical level. I can't imagine there's that much more to it. And I don't think I've seen a single node that I know of? Hi. So either I'm missing them, or they're all hidden in some place? Like, I don't know, what does a computer node look like? Oh shit! Ah! How many of you are there? Snacks? Oh, this is the medical level armory. This is the one I wrote down the code for from that audio message. 705. we got spark beam but there's no point in taking that can't recycle it it doesn't hold any ammo and i've already got one ammo depot vending machines offer a selection of ammunition for try credits <laughs> wait so you, <laughs> you go to the ammo depot which i presume is for people whose job is you know security and what have you and they still have to buy the ammo what Four credits for small standard round box. So that'd be ten shots for four credits. So same. I guess the entire machine just does one type. No, this one does multiple. This is for Teflon rounds. So five credits for that. Whatever that is, is empty. Or maybe this suggests that there's only two boxes that you can buy and that's it. And this one only has one box you can buy. Maybe each machine is only one type. Proximity mine? Is that the same thing that the ninjas have been putting on the ground? Blast radius is 400 centimeters, which is pretty large. Yeah, I think that is the same thing. It's got those, like, pink spikes. We have so many grenades. Mod kit stations provide weapon upgrades for try credits Oh, there's an upgrade system? Did the original game have that? I have no idea. Well, I definitely want to upgrade the pistol for sure. 20 credits 
for... I guess you just buy it and then you up, like use the upgrade on the weapon, I guess. So, yeah, let's do it. I have 26 credits. Oh, it did it all at once. I kind of was hoping I had to insert every coin, but I suppose that would be annoying, wouldn't it? Single-use items used to upgrade specific weapons. All mods are permanent. What does this one do? Upgrades the mini pistol, increases magazine capacity to 20 rounds. Nice. Um, how do I, I guess I just use it? Yeah. Nice. I don't think I really need to buy ammo. There's one more door down here I haven't explored right here. Alright, that just leads to this hallway. There's some things up here north in Alpha Quadrant that I haven't explored, like this door. Ooh, biological contamination. Destroying the barrels is probably not going to do anything. Actually, it's going down. I think... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that does do something. Okay, there's a whole bunch in there, so maybe a grenade would be a good idea. Oh, Jesus. That didn't quite go the way I thought it would. Look at the puddles. Well, these this puddle doesn't hurt. Huh. Maybe it's not the puddles, maybe it's those that are hurting me. Is that it? Just a couple frag grenades. That's not a nice room. Okay, we've got some more to explore up here. This hallway. Yeah, I haven't gone more this direction. Oh. Wait, what? What's going on with them? Are they going to pop out? They're like recharging or something. Are they going to attack me? Should I take them out right now? Leave that closed. Are they waking up? No. Stop staring at me. light switches. One of these days there's going to be a monster in the bathroom. Snacktron does not provide calorie count. It feels a little weird to me that there's a snack station right next to a toilet, but I mean, I guess it's fine. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't need snacks. I'd rather save my money for upgrades and ammo. Wait, can I actually buy a coffee? No, you can't. Hmm. I'm pissing Shodan off. 
by leaving all the lights on. Level security, 32%. They were just enjoying the view, weren't they? They were just staring out the window. Kind of feel bad for killing them. Who wouldn't want to look at all this? It's amazing. Charging icon. Yeah. I'm gonna try whacking one and just see what happens. Oh, fuck. Oh, this might be one of the cores. Certainly looks like a... Like a CPU core kind of... Processing node room. Most of the in 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 insects have either died or were reborn. Re 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 small is missing. Didn't actually mean to use that. Didn't want to cut off that message. I'll go back and listen to it in a second. Oh, this is a whole thing. Yeah, so cyberspace is a thing that existed in the original game. Okay, this is cool. We have connection integrity on the top right. I guess that's basically our health bar. Oh, is that to leave? Perhaps if I finish the cyberspace, it'll destroy the node? I'm not sure. But anyway, what was that message? Most of the in 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 insects have either died or were re 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 reborn. A small resistance pockets remain. I will cleanse them from my body soon. Diego has served well and will continue to evolve to suit my purposes. Earth shall receive my magnificence, my glory. My great works will begin once I arrive, and there shall be no other gods before me. Shodan is just such a fun villain. I love them. Okay, I'm really curious what this is going to be like. Pulsar Combat V1 software acquired. What is that? Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. We've entered the cyber zone.
<laughs> it's so fun. Like, it's just so ridiculous, cyberpunk. Shooting these purple shurikens in the cyber world. Like, it's just such a fun view of what cyberspace would look like in the future. I love it. Man, you are hard to hit. Oh, roll. Whee! My health is really low, actually. I need to be careful. Healing, quick. Medical force field door deactivated. That's what I was doing. All right. Take me through. So that was not to destroy a node. I'm curious if I could enter back in there just, I don't know, for fun? I dare not try, though. Right, this door. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think this calls for a EMP. Shodan really doesn't want me in there. It's a security one robot. What is in here? Well, you know what? I'm going to save that for the next episode. Sorry for the cliffhanger, but I need to stop playing. I seriously could just probably play this game now till completion all night without sleeping. Rather than that, I'm going to try to be responsible and go to sleep. So, hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to find out what it is that Shodan doesn't want us to see.